a reading from the Apocalypse of John, chapter 11, verse 19, and chapter 12, verse 1 to 10. The sanctuary of God in heaven opened, and the ark of the covenant could be seen inside it. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman adorned with the sun standing on the moon, with the twelve stars on her head for a crown. She was pregnant and in labor, crying aloud in the pangs of childbirth. The Word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, today is the 15th of August. It is the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. A special day for all the children of the house. By children of the house, I mean those who understand who Mary is. Not only that, those who know Mary, those who journey with her and have often sought her help and have often come back to thank her for her perpetual assistance. So today is not a day to begin to explain to colleagues and friends and families who Mary is, or to begin to defend who she is. Those who are of the house know themselves. They are children of Mary, including non catholics who often tend to her in petitions and novenas in the secret of their heart, because they understand who Mary is. Those who are not of the house will never understand, even if you explain. Just as they will never understand why you carry in your wallet the picture of particular persons, or why you have pictures of people on your bedside, or have pictures on your screensaver, that is known to you alone. It is a matter of the heart. So it is with Mary. To those who know her, this is a very affectionate and comforting day. It is like going home to your mother. In John's vision from Revelation, when heaven opens up, the first thing he sees is the Ark of the Covenant. A wooden box had been given such an honor in heaven simply because it had carried the tablet of stones on which the Ten Commandments had been written. What more of Mary? What more of Mary who carried in her womb the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, the Savior of the world? No wonder the first human being that John sees in heaven is Mary, all radiant, clothed with the sun, standing on the moon with twelve stars on her crown. And in spite of all this honor, Mary claims none for herself. She simply says to us, pointing at her son, Do whatever he tells you. Especially whenever our lives, like the wedding at Cana, run dry of wine. The good news is that the Blessed Virgin Mary leads the way. She fulfilled her vocation with humility in this life as we know it. So where she is now, we also one day hope to be. So on this day may our prayers blend with her voice as she raises her petitions up to her son for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
and happy feast day to all her children in her son Jesus Christ. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father Mish, with an